But let's see if this thing actually fits in here at all. Uh, you know what? With those screws, it does not fit into this case. I don't know if you can see, but uh, yeah. So to get it to fit in this case, I think I'm going to have to screw through these holes instead of like I just did it. So let's try that. Ah. Oh, the joys of working on Raspberry Pi projects. I forgot to plug this in. This is the PCI Express FFC connection. So you can see this little connector here. That little guy has to go into this little port. And that can be a little tricky sometimes. Will these screws go through? No, they're not long enough. But if I had long enough screws, I could probably get them to go in there. What I'm gonna do is just not screw it in for now and hopefully that'll work. I will see if this case closes. It's going to be close. If I squeeze really tight, will it go? No. What's going on here? I think it's... Oh, oh there we go. All right. So, as you can see, there's uh, not a lot of clearance here. I think, I think if they do a second revision of this board, they should cut out some holes uh, to get a little more airflow. Because right now, there's airflow through the bottom of the case, uh, but the top is mostly blocked off. We'll see if that affects things in performance later. Uh, I also put this GPIO pass-through in here, and the problem with that is I don't know if that's going to fit with this top. Yeah, that, that kind of just hits on there, so that's fine if you want to experiment like this and leave this off, but if you want to put that on, you actually are going to have to take these off. So, well, I'm not going to do it, but uh, if I just bent all these pins down or snipped them all, it would probably fit within here. Actually, no. Uh, even without that, this won't fit because these little these little clips don't have anywhere to go around the board. So this particular board and the official Pi case, I'd say no go. It fits, but it's not a wonderful fit. Uh, but you could run it like this. There's no reason why you can't. And I just realized to put this uh, NVMe SSD in here, I need a standoff because otherwise it just kind of flops. So I'm going to need to take it back apart put this back in, and like I said, some assembly required. Come on, ah, push hard. That's how you're supposed to do it. Oh, come on, there we go. Yay, we got it. Raspberry Pi 5, ready for action. And it's always good to have a few screws left over. Right now there's really no database of like, which hats are compatible with which, uh, with which types of cases. And a lot of times you're just going to have to 3D print a case, which not everybody has a 3D printer. So yeah, I, I don't know how many times I'm going to say this, but the Raspberry Pi is a lot more of a DIY thing. You're going to learn a lot about small electronics. When